While preparing for a MailChimp webinar, I was looking at some new ways to incorporate MailChimp into your WordPress site. And I found this article uh, that talks about five different ways to uh, to get MailChimp forms onto your site. And one of them that caught my eye was Easy Forms for MailChimp by Yikes Plugins. Um, I met some of the people from Yikes Plugins at WordCamp US last year, and I was excited to see one of their plugins out in the wild and start testing it out. So I installed it on my sandbox site, and this is going to be kind of a first look video at how to get it installed and how to use it. So the first thing I did, I just I installed it, I activated it, and then it took me to this page here. So I'm looking at some of the new things that are in this version of it. I love the fact that they make it, make it easy to do an inline form. This is really popular um, on a lot of websites, and it can be really hard to set up if you're not familiar with CSS and how to do it manually. So the fact that they give you an easy way to do an inline form is kind of fantastic. Um, it looks like it's ready to be translated to different languages. That's also awesome. And it looks like they have some pretty decent uh, knowledge base information. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to go down to the Easy Forms button over here. And we're going to go to Settings first to make sure that we get everything connected to our MailChimp account the right way. So I have my MailChimp API key. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. MailChimp API key, if you're not sure where to get it, you're going to want to go in your MailChimp account. You want to go to Account, and then you want to go to Extras, and API key. And it'll be on this page, and you're going to get here, there's a button to create a new API key below. I'm not scrolling down because I don't want to share my API keys uh, in a video, but it'll be on this page. So, back to here. We've got it changed. It looks like we're connected. Let's... Um, Let's uh, let's see what we do. So again, this is first look. I've never played with this plugin before, but it looks like it should be pretty easy to do. So we're going to just try to um, do it without any previous experience with it. Um, let's see, demo opt-in. And which list? It looks like it's pulled in my list. That's fantastic. We're going to say that people can go on to the general list from our demo opt-in. We're going to create that form. Okay. Looks like we've got some short codes that we can use here. And let's build a form. I like this already. I like the visual form builder. That makes it pretty easy. Uh, I'm a big fan of Gravity Forms, which is what I usually use on my sites to uh, to make opt-in forms or whatever and connect it to my MailChimp account. But I wanted to look at some different options for people that don't have Gravity Forms. And so far, this one seems pretty cool. All right, so for our opt-in form, we're just going to ask for first name and last name and email address. It's putting those in. Let's go ahead and update. Do I have options here? So if we click on this... First name, we can add a placeholder, that's handy. You can add some additional classes to help styling and match it up with the rest of your website. And it looks like they have some bundled classes. I'm curious what those are. We'll take a look at those later. And it looks like we can set it as a required field. So I'm going to make first name and email address required fields. Last name I'm going to go ahead and leave optional. And we're going to leave that as optional there. I'm going to say hide the label on these because I'm using the placeholder. So, all right, let's hide the label. Update our field again, update our form. And here's our short code that we want to use right over here at the top. Now let's see, it's going to put it onto the general list. We can choose to do single or double opt-in. I always like to do double opt-in. Yes, send the welcome mail. Update existing subscriber, a subscriber. So if you're doing a form for a specific thing and they're already on your list, this will update that information rather than telling them you're already here. And, um, oh, look at that. Do we want to give have them give permission? Um, 
to update. I'm going to go ahead and say no on that one. And then let's check our submission settings. Do I want it to redirect on submission? Yes, I do. Let's see. We're going to have it go to my report page after they sign up. No, after they sign up, I want them to go to the one more step page. And we're going to update interest groups. All right, we've got some really cool options here so far. And this is all from a free plugin that's available in the repository. That's pretty great. All right, we're going to take the short code and let's go ahead and test it in a new page. All right, got my little clippy down there. Use one of those random plugins that I have on the site. He throw back to uh, Microsoft Office. He does nothing useful. He just hangs out there, but he keeps me company sometimes, so I like him. All right, so we've pasted in the short code. Remember that short code was just up here. I went ahead and pasted it in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and publish this page so we can jump over and see what it looks like. All right, it looks like it pulled in the styling from the theme pretty easily. And uh, let's test. And I think I say this in all of my videos that have an opt-in test in it, but if you're using a Gmail address, even the G Suite or Google Apps or whatever they're calling it this week, um, you can add this little bit here, this plus and kind of a signifier. And so it sees it, the, whatever system you're sending it to, like MailChimp, will see it as a different address. But here um, we can test which one it is so you know that it actually went in right. So we're going to go ahead and hit submit. It said thanks for subscribing. And it redirected me, awesome, to my One More Step page that I have set up. And this I just have created to tell people to... Um, to go check their email to officially do the, the double opt-in part. So it looks really easy to use so far. I'm really enjoying this plugin. Uh, it seems pretty great. Looks like we can, oh, and I missed this step here down under form fields and interest groups. I use groups a lot in MailChimp to uh, sort and kind of keep track of how people signed up for my list and all that kind of stuff. And it looks like I can add which event they signed up for. That's awesome. So then that will get updated in their user record as well. And because it's a hidden field, um, see this field type hidden right here, the user is never going to see it on the form. So I'm going to go ahead and update the form. And we're going to go back to that page here. All right, we're going to re redo the page. Refresh, that's the word I'm looking for. And so we don't see that, that groups field in here, but it is in there. And that's pretty cool. So that'll help you if you're doing using groups for segmenting your list. So all in all, this looks like a fantastic plugin. I can't wait to recommend it to some of my customers that, uh, that have MailChimp accounts and want to integrate it to their site. Great, great going uh, to the guys at Yikes, the developers at Yikes, guys, gals, not sure who, but I definitely want to check out more of your plugins in the future. Thanks for watching. If you want more WordPress tips, feel free to join me on my websites, either at beyondtheoffice.com or the wptoolbox.com. Thanks. Bye.